Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Dark Forester. This is your fault. Every now and then, you guys take it upon yourself to send me a game, and then I look at the game, and I'm like, why, why did you do that? Why would you do that? It's just gonna, it's just gonna sit there forever. Why would you, why would I play it? What, are you crazy, basically? But you know what? I've decided I'm gonna do them all. I'm gonna play them all. I'm going to experience them all. And sometimes they turn out to be fantastic. Undertale was a great example. I'm really happy I played that thanks to you guys. But a lot of the time, it turns out they're pretty bad. So I welcome you all to the world's premiere. I'm quoting the game now. Hardcore forest management game. Yeah, apparently that was so hardcore, the music stopped. Let's just do this. Connect. Let the darkness prevail. Okay, um, the darkness is going to prevail, everybody. Livestock died, units died, it seems like there's a lot of call call calling, yes, a lot of calling, killing. Why can't I? I was trying to go with calling and killing and went with calling, and that's not even a word. Play. Guys, nobody panic. But essential data is loading. I'm very happy about this because otherwise, I just, I just, I just don't know what I'd do with my life without, without essential data. I, I need it. Okay, I need it. And I know this, you know, it's a stupid thing to make fun of. I mean, I'm like, come on now. But I just like the fact it's not just data is loading; it's essential. They're, they're not trying to con me by making just random frivolous data we could get without load. You know, they're not wasting my time here. All right. Interesting. So we got a. Hey, is that is that me? I sh ah, Okay, that's me. So I'm this little little troll guy. I mean, the game kind of looks pretty. To be fair, it's all bright. What are you, ogre fake king? W what? <laughs> I'm the king. No, you're not, Barry. Stop it. Okay, stop it. I know ogres aren't smart, but you're not the king, Barry. No, Barry's the king. Seriously, Barry, do you see the crown on your head or my head? Y your head? Then who's the king? Barry the king. Damn it, Barry. All right, hi, Rage Gaming. Welcome to your land. I hope you will be a good forester. Feel you free how to make a beautiful and safe forest. Our land has 323 trees. Your trees are the most important units in your forest. Keep numbers of trees as high as possible. Is it just me, or is there certain things missing from that? Cow. Ah, I made a cow! <laughs> a lot of resources. There's gold bars and the normal gold. Ogre. Why does an ogre cost as much as a cow? I guess I'll make a Trent over there. That's nice. I feel like I just spent most of my money. Alright, that's good. On the left, you can cycle between the five towers. Ah, so we got different types of tree. So, we've got fir trees. Oh, look at that. We got a Dedicus tree over there. Deciduous even. Deciduous? Deficiduous? A dark tree. Ooh. Question though, what what am I gravity walk? How do I how the hell do I gravity walk? Can I can I like Oh I can move my trees around? Can I move the Ah I can move the Ogre King? So I'm assuming then what I'm effectively managing is a fantasy RPG dark forest that heroes have to adventure through, but I'm the forest. So what is this? Epic Gallo this epic go wow okay that's um that's an intimidation factor we'll have that one that is that is quite something <laughs> oh that's a lot of sacrificed ogres to make that happen and then we have the dungeon portal which is there which we're still going to leave there all right that's 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 pretty cool you know that's me chilling up in the top left my beautiful goblin face over there teleport to find information about your character, that makes sense. To drag and moving objects, I worked that one out, yes. Click the upgrade icon to upgrade or display information. Can I upgrade a cow? I, can I please... Oh, oh, whoops, no, uh, wait, there we go. I placed the house. Can I, it's got 60 health, and you get resources and four waves. How much health does the ogre have? I'm not allowed to know how much health the ogres have, that's... That's really sad. What about what about the Trent that I placed? Oh no, he's got health on the left. Okay, so he's got the cow has more health than the tree creature, but you know, understandably less than the ogre over there. So upgrade, boom. Oh, I can't upgrade the cow. I really wanted to upgrade the cow. 
Oh, that's so sad. I can't upgrade the house either. <sighs> Click on the mission icon and where it takes place in a mad wild fairy tale. <laughs> Yo, mate, my fairy tale kingdom is mad wild. You is gonna get mashed up here. I'm sorry, again, I'm so very white. Compare the PvP modes, arena campaigns, and random maps. I mean, it sounds like, honestly, sarcasm aside, it's just some. It's kind of a fun idea, isn't it? Like, it's it's a fun idea to have uh, yourself in control of a dark forest. So I have this little like lightning blast. That's kind of cool. That's wonderful. At the bottom, you can find different spells. Okay, please click the next turn icon. So it's a turn-based game. Boom. There is enemies. There is three enemies. Oh my god, there's three enemies. Who dares attack my forest? For it is the darkest of all of the forests. Where, where, for real though, where's, where's, where's the enemies at? Do they come out of the dungeon portal? Because that would make sense. Um, I'm going to attack. I press the sword button. Oh, I see movement. I see movement. Aha! Evil ogre. Um. Oh, I see. So when when I'm not in a edit phase, I just destroyed my own tree. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, lightning, lightning. Why is it going into the sky? L lightning. Um, lightning. Oh no, it's working. It's working. Haha! -ha, lightning, lightning. It, it's doing five damage. Um, can I make him come fight my Trent? No, he's just. Leave my trees alone! They've not done anything, cow! Can I make the cow attack? No, I can't make the cow attack. Why do I just have to lightning him to death? I don't understand. I'm doing such little damage. Why is my tread not doing anything? Attack! You need to attack! Did I, did I just miss how I have to get people to attack? Look, there's an extra tree. Stop it! Why is he just ignoring it? What? No, rip my Trent. Rip my Trent. He's so dead. <laughs> I'm so very confused as to what is going on. But let look, I put a spooky dark tree here. Why is he still just beating up the corpse of my Trent? Am I out of mana? I feel like I'm out of mana. I'm, I'm out of... How do... Oh, no. There we go. I got some back. So, yeah, I'm low on health and out of mana. I, um, I, uh, can I make a, aha, this ogre's fighting, there we go, ha, 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 I have conquered all, in fact, I have unlocked a fireball, get on my level, everybody, get on my level, so I've achieved things, I acquired some gold thanks to that, and let's go to the magic shop, and on development, trees, mushrooms, and stamps, Ah, I can put mushrooms everywhere. So, in terms of actually designing a fantasy forest, fair enough, you know? Fair enough. There's a lot of uh, good... Uh, there's a lot of good uh, ideas here. Uh, there's a lot of seemingly customization options for making a visually pleasing dark forest. But what I'm struggling to understand is what the hell is up with that gameplay. <laughs> what does do I have? World events... Okay, forest awake. Boom. Is that like a spirit? Did a sp what, 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 what is it? Okay. It just destroyed my spirit wolf. And now the bear's just running into my epic gallow. I, I, what, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. I guess I'll play the barbarian invasion. Where are the barbarians? Is anyone else? Wondering what the hell is going on. There's more now. The now the spirit bear is dead. I'm gonna put my forest king over here. There. Ah, okay, all right. Kill the polar bear. I believe he got him, guys. He got him. Nobody panic. My ogre is on top of this. All right, end turn. Eighteen enemy. All right. I have a feeling. All right. I have a feeling that I may. Just mate. Did he just kill 18 barbarians in one swing? What? I'd hate to see what the real king can do. <laughs> what? I don't understand. I don't understand. How did that... <laughs> 
I do, what? I'm doing that again. I am doing that again. I, I don't und Did he just genuinely one hit 18 barbarians? Is, is that what I'm understanding here? How does fireball work against them? Ha ha! Did nothing. That didn't do anything. Why are they just killing my trees? I mean, I understand I have to save the forest, but you'd think a load of barbarians have got more to do. Okay, this. No, they just killed my ogre king this time. Oh, no, you bastards! You can kill my ogre king, but you leave my cow alone, you son of a bitch! You leave my cow alone! 12 enemies left. Oh god, that ogre's dying, isn't he? Oh, he's so dying. Oh my god, we got we got fireballs. That's wonderful. And they all died again. Oh okay. my god. Oh my god. Random enemy. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah! All right, guys, here we go. Let us go invade a random enemy forest in 3D mode. We are we are going 3D mode so hard all up in here. And I'm just so blown away by everything that's going on because, honestly, the theory of this game is pretty cool. Managing a dark, spooky fantasy forest and filling it with nasties is a sweet idea. I bet people get very creative. It just seems like there's a there's a lot of, a lot of interesting things going on. All right. Here we go. What is the music that comes on? <laughs> I am gonna mess your forest up! Bouncing along my goblin song. I see the ogre king. I'm gonna blast him. I'm gonna kill him. He's gonna not know what hit him. Ha ha! Fuck your shit! <laughs> Fuck that tree! And fuck that tree, no! And that tree, can I even kill the tree? I can, ha ha! What about that hut? Can I kill that hut? I'm not even sure if I can kill that hut, but that's another ogre, and then the game crashed. Oh yeah! Game crashed. Fantastic. I think this about sums it up. I think this, uh... This about sums up, sums it up so far. Oh, you can get trolls and like orcs and dark looking creatures. That's pretty cool. I'm confused. I'm just very, very confused and slightly aroused. I have no idea what is going on in this game, why it's going on, and I have a feeling that it's an early access for a reason, and that also you need to invest a lot of time to start understanding and liking this game. I think there's definitely a lot of potential here, and I do inherently at a base level love the idea, but it's not for me at the moment. <laughs> it needs a lot of work just in terms of how it flows and how you get users involved and understanding and playing everything, because it just seems, why at this point? Why? I do want to come back and give it a proper fair chance outside of a first impression-y, funny, deliberately sarcastic video. I definitely do. And I will actually see how this develops over its time, because, as I said, I'm loving the idea, but so far, disgusting. <laughs> My name's been Rage. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Uh, this is your fault. If you want to... I, 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 honestly... Don't send me any games, okay? Don't do it. But if, if for some reason you feel like you need to, for whatever masochistic, sadistic, satanist reason, then uh, the email to do so is in the description. Or if you already got me on Steam, you know, that's fine. <sighs> it's all ogre now. Oh, good boy.